We are 3204 Marshall Avenue in Lago Vista. This house may look like any other modern new build, but it is future proof. Let's break down what that means for a buyer. It's mold resistant. It's got eight or nine hours of fire resistance if your house catches on fire and you can power wash it if it does. It's termite proof. It's basically hurricane proof. And the acoustics are insane. If that's not enough, this luxury home is filled with materials from around the globe. So this home not only looks good and spectacular, it feels incredible inside. It really does. Before we go inside, let's take a look at the exterior features. First of all, what's behind these walls? It's autoclaved aerated concrete. It's popular in different parts of the world, the Caribbean, Africa, Middle East. We see some applications in Florida and even in Texas in the commercial space. And this is really the first place you're gonna see it out in Lago Vista in a residential space. And let's not forget that two car garage, which has two electric car chargers. So let's go in because we have four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,891 square feet, sitting on 0.227 acres, being offered at $1,288,000 to take a look at. So although there's a lot to see, Jennifer, I just have to, this is probably one of my favorite things about this house. We have an eight foot metal and glass door, we have eight panes, and it's strong and sturdy, it's fabulous. And something interesting that happened the other day, it was really hot outside, but if you felt this, the glass, it wasn't that warm. And that's probably because of the low E and the double panes. From the minute we walk in, I love the fact we've got our stairs on the right. You've got this beautiful enclave. If you were a kid, how cool would this be as a fort? Yeah, I agree completely. Let's walk into the office. I love this space. I know, and lots, it brings in lots of natural light. We have this huge window right over here. We have the little cutouts, a really nice feature. And we have a little nook right in the corner here that can be used as a little privacy section. You think of it as a phone booth. Tell us about this great room. Well, it's 21 feet high. And as you see, I have lots of windows. We have the fully retractable door. This fireplace is one of the most magnificent fireplaces I have ever seen. It goes up the full 21 feet and it's electric. And the tiles were actually imported from Saudi Arabia. The amount of work that goes into this, it is so labor intensive. I think it turned out great. I do as well. Well, if you're impressed by the fireplace, let's go check out the finishing in the kitchen. All right, well, let's start with the fact that we have these German-made cabinets. And in addition to just the space they provide, they very cleverly install these organization systems, like this one right here. And if you know me, you know I love coffee, but this is not any coffee station. The Spanish porcelain countertops were fabricated in Saudi Arabia. And if you think this porcelain tile is something? Take a look at this island. It's, <laughs> she really likes it. I really it's like it. It's the same Spanish porcelain tile. We have a waterfall edge and porcelain for countertops is not really usual. But for those who don't know, it's actually really good and strong material. It's 30% stronger than granite. It is less porous than marble, and if anybody has marble like me, um, you know how it stains quickly. This will not happen with these countertops. And it's also less likely to fade than quartz. We have our fridge over here. We've got built-in microwave and oven. And behind us, we have a real surprise in this pantry. Let's check it out. Exiting our pantry, we've got our built-in LG oven and microwave. Moving over, of course, we have all of this room for cooking induction cooktop, and we've got our pot filler. 
I know you're passionate about those, huh? And I love the way they've taken the porcelain tile and carried it throughout. You've got one large piece fabricated. It's phenomenal. Let's check out the dining room. Let's. It seats eight. And it looks onto the green belt. I love the way the dining room opens off to the patio on the main floor. I love the full-size patio at the back of the house. This is our first area and it extends our living room area. And I love this part of the patio because it extends off of the owner's suite. We told you at the beginning of the video that there were a few secrets in this house. Let's go check out the secret patio. Julissa, I love the way the builders took advantage that this house is built on a hill. They did two cement pours and then they took full advantage and we have this entire extra second deck. And this deck looks over the green belt so you know that you will never have back neighbors. So between the garage door and the butler's pantry, we have the laundry room. So just off of the garage, we have the powder room. Come check it out. So we mentioned earlier that this is a four bed, three bath house. Well, you're in for a treat because the owner's suite is right here on the main floor. I love the way the owner's suite has private access to the main floor patio. I love this open concept owner's closet. More German engineering. Let's check out the owner's ensuite. Oh my gosh, I love these quartz countertops. And I love the mirrors. So these are smart mirrors. They have their own light. They have sensors that come on when you enter the room. And as well, they have their internal defogger. I love this white freestanding tub juxtapositioned to the porcelain. You've got the black handles as well as your black faucets. It's quite exquisite. And I love the rain shower, the oversized tile from floor to ceiling, and the peekaboo window. That was a great tour of the main floor of the house. Now let's go check out upstairs. Oh my gosh, I love this bonus seating area. Yeah, I know, huh? So many applications. <sighs> Let's go check out the fact that we have three bedrooms and two more baths upstairs. So our first bedroom has a great walk-in closet and an ensuite. Let's check it out. So this bathroom has your floor to ceiling oversized tiles, you have your quartz countertops, you have your peekaboo, and it's actually a Jack and Jill, so it connects to the other bedroom. We are at our third bedroom and I love the way that they're pretty much all the same size. Yes, and this is my favorite of the three because it has the peekaboo window. And let's check out this final ensuite. We showed them all the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Should we show them secret deck number two? I don't know. You think we should? Absolutely. Of course we'll show you secret deck number two. Let's, let's go. go. Have you ever seen a deck this Big? Yeah, I know. Eh? This actually was supposed to be a flat roof, but instead of just leaving it bare, the builders decided to turn it into a deck. And so we have almost a thousand square feet of extra entertaining space. Well, that concludes our tour. What was your favorite part? Oh my gosh, I would have to say my favorite part is by far the fireplace. What was your favorite part? For me, definitely that deck. The entertainment options, you can't match that. Yeah, that's a good point. My name is Jaleesa McLennan, I'm your Texas Realtor. And I'm Jennifer Goodman, I'm your local Austin Realtor. 
And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.